Welcome back to the Evansville Otters pregame show. I'm Mike Radomski. It's time now for the manager's report as we're now joined by Wayne Krenchicki, the Otters manager. Chick, we'll start off with last night's game. Your team came from behind in an 8-7 to win. What are some of your thoughts from that game? Well, it, it was fun having a, a really big crowd there last night, a record-setting crowd, 7,800 people out there. And, um, you know, we got off to an early start where we scored six runs and got up and, 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 and played a little poorly defensively and, and some C&I ground balls and some bloops fell in there and wound up and lost the lead. But I was very happy with the way we, we actually came back, uh, took the lead, and the bullpen was able to hold on to it. Um, you know, cause that's one of those games that you, you need to win in that situation when you don't play uh, your best game. And early on in that game, we saw your team put up the sixth spot right away. How important was it to come out and get that lead right off the get-go? Well, in, in every game, you know, we... I mean, that's your goal, to, to try and get out early, put some runs on the board. You can put pressure on their defense, their pitcher, um, do some things, you know, hitting and running, uh, whether you need to bunt to add on runs. But, you know, scoring early in a ball game is, is, is a big plus for, uh, for the ball club as far as wins are concerned. Jorge Lugo was looking for that shutdown inning once your team got those six runs. What really struggled and did not work for him as he allowed five runs that next inning? Well, he didn't have very good command of his fastball. Um, after the first time through uh, the hitters, he, he relied on breaking stuff. Um, he threw a lot of pitches. He threw many, 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 too, break, too many breaking balls uh, where they are able to time some stuff on him. And uh, consequently, you know, he it's the inning started where it was just a couple of an infield hit, a ground ball up the middle, a ground ball up the middle, and uh, nothing that was really hit very hard, but uh, just turned into a long, bad inning for us. Mike Radomski here with Wayne Krenchicki on the Evansville Otters pregame show. Chick, your bullpen, four and two-thirds innings last night, they did not allow a run. How important was that to get that pitching and then be able to come back and win the game? Well, I, I mean, it was, it was very important for us for the fact that, you know, we have... Uh, you know, we want, number one, win in the series, two games, to, you know, to one uh, was important for us. Getting back to 500 was important for us. Um, tonight's game, Peters pitching, who has struggled his last couple outings um, with a new pitcher coming in on Saturday to pitch. So today, last night was a really important win for us to be able, and the bullpen was the biggest part of it. We're a little short in the bullpen. Um, you know, I think the only one that probably won't be able to pitch is Simon because he's pitched back-to-back -back days. Uh, the day before yesterday, he threw, I think it was uh, 30 pitches or so. Um, but we were able to just use our bullpen enough to where they are, they'll be able to be uh, able to pitch again tonight uh, with one pitcher coming off the disabled list tomorrow that will help us in the bullpen. Uh, and Monday we'll, we'll have another one. And Nick Sutton at the end, he's beaten the fill-in closer while Robert Romero has been hurt. What have you seen so far with him that's made him so effective in that reserve role? Well, he, he, his, his ball has a lot of sink on it. He's going to get a lot of ground balls. Um, he really has a good breaking ball um, that, that will we'll put some of these hitters to sleep. Um, and he's a guy that does not walk. Uh, hitters, he's ahead in his count, so um, you know he may stay there for a while as we work Robert back in into uh, game ready shape. So we'll see how that plays out. Your team won two of three games against Oakland County last week. What did you pick up during that series and during those meetings? Well, um, the fact while well, we we were red hot offensively. Um, during that time, uh, which we, we still are swinging the bats very well, um, probably not as good timely hitting as, as we had during that, seat, uh, during that series, but um, um, just a, a scrappy team that has some speed. Um, you know, the, once we gave them an opening and Peters walked some guys, that uh, they showed some offensive abilities also. When you face a pitcher once, it's one thing. When you face them again, how much more different is it at that point? Well, you have a better idea of, of what to expect. Um, you know, when you're facing a guy the first time and you've never seen him before, you know, it takes a few innings to figure out what he's going to try to do as far as get people out. Um, you know, w when you're going around the second time, you, you know, it's got to be like a memory card and you remember what his out pitch was. 
you know what his fastball did those type of things and you know, we have uh, you know our hitting coach keeps all that stuff on record you know what his pitches were uh, what the miles per hour were and what how he tried to get people out and then Chris Peters said we already talked about him a little bit how's he going to rebound here in this game against Oakland County the same team he's already faced hopefully throw strikes um, he's had an awful lot of problems with uh, not getting the ball down in the strike zone um, you know he shows very good arm strength and, and a good breaking ball but uh, you know he his, his release point has been bad to where he, his, his a lot of his pitches are high out of the strike zone um, that you know they're not going to offer at so he needs to throw the ball over the plate that was Wayne Krenchecki here on the Evansville Otters pregame show and we'll be right back right after this